Hey guys, Crawl here. Welcome to Crawl Unchained. So today, uh, as you can see, I'm still playing Entropy. And uh, the purpose of this video is that I'm going to be giving my opinion on uh, something uh, that we're able to do in the game that I'm sure a lot of people would be seeing as an exploit. And uh, I can totally understand why. Uh, they would see it as an exploit. I would not blame them if they wanted it removed from the game. Uh, once you guys are done watching this video, I'd like you guys to comment. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% sure, but I think, you know, the devs have already pinned my videos on the forums. They've made, a, you know, a thread uh, for my videos I'm thinking that video will probably end up with the others and I'd like you guys to share your thoughts on the matter uh, in the page where that video will be posted so uh, yeah the feature that I'm referring to is the ability to cut off your engines while your warp drive is active and then turning off your warp drive and allowing your ship to simply drift or slide or glide at 2000 meters a second uh, in a straight line. Obviously, uh, once your engines are cut off and your warp drive is cut off, uh, you're, you can only go in a straight line. You can't steer your ship. So uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to demonstrate for those of you who might not know that it was possible to do that, I'm going to demonstrate, show you guys what I'm talking about. Actually, we're going to turn off the engines right now before we start. Then I'm going to initiate warp. As soon as the warp, as soon as I reach 2000 meters a second, I'm just going to turn off my warp drive and you'll see that my ship just continues to glide at 2000 meters a second. So now my warp drive is off and I'm just gliding at 2000 meters a second. Now of course I made sure that my ship was not heading towards anything so that it wouldn't crash. <laughs> so as you can see I can simply turn around and now I'm going in reverse at 2000 meters a second. Uh, now. The reason why some people would consider this as an exploit is because right now it's impossible for me to be intercepted. Uh, the game mechanics, like right now, because, oh no, okay, actually that would not have stopped my ship. Uh, that's actually a mission I chose to ignore, but if it, normally when you're warping, if a mission pops up, your ship stops. Uh, and it allows you to check the mission out and determine whether you want to do it or not and then you can just if you ignore it you can just uh, reinitiate your warp drive if you want to do it then you you just do it pretty much <laughs> uh, but yeah right now nothing will stop my ship nothing and uh, the way that the game is designed is when you're warping uh, NPC pirates are able to intercept you and uh, at, you know they some of them will attack you right away some of them will give you the option to eject some of your cargo and they'll let you live and stuff like that but you know it, right now those pirates cannot intercept me uh, because the game mechanics are designed so that they can intercept you if you're warping. Right now, I'm I'm not warping. I'm just going at the same speed as if I was warping. So uh, that's why I'm guessing this could be seen as an exploit. Now, I'm also assuming that one day, uh, players will be given an ability to intercept ships that are warping. And uh, if this feature that I'm showing you right now remains in the game, then those players are probably going to be facing the same situation. Uh, player, uh, pirate players would not be able to intercept you. In a certain way, this could be seen as being unfair. Now, the reason why I think this should not be removed from the game is because, first of all, there are certain downsides to this. And second of all, I think it's realistic because 
this is your ship. You're the pilot. Okay, you have systems in front of you that you can choose to turn on and off because you're the pilot. Okay, so everything, every systems that are active or not active is you should be your own choice. Now, you have a warp drive, you have engines, you have thrusters, you have uh, a, b a bunch of systems on your ship and I think that giving you the ability to do whatever you want with them is how things should be so if I want to turn off my engines while my warp drive is active then this is my own choice if I don't like I just think it adds more complexity to the game, first of all, and I'm the kind of guy who loves complexity, I love variety, I love a game where you're pretty much never going to see two people doing things the same way, where people ha have the ability to do things their own way, and uh, where it's actually super rare to see two people doing the exact same thing with the exact same ship in the exact same way. So this, it just adds more complexity to the game. Now there's even more things that can be done with this. So I'm going to show you two ways to stop the ship. One of those ways, uh, it will take me about 10 kilometers for my ship to come to a full stop. And the other way, it's actually gonna stop the ship, you know, just as quickly as it would normally stop um, if I kept my warp drive on. So the first one would be to simply turn on my engines, which is what I'm gonna do right now. And I don't know if I have anything to base myself on, like any distance indicator anywhere so right now okay I'm seeing this it's 780 I'm, I'm gonna start it at 90 so I started my engines at 790 meters from the uh, refinery unit still not stopped and we're stopped so it took roughly 10 kilometers for my ship to come to a full stop. Um, now the, the other way to do it, I'll show you right there. Okay, so now 2,000 meters, turn off engines, turn off warp. So right now I'm still gliding like I was earlier. All I gotta do is turn on my engines, start initiating a warp, and then cancel it, and my ship will stop very quickly so turn on my engines yeah so I pressed C turned on my engines pressed F twice the first time started charging for an another warp and then the second time it just cancelled it and as soon as I cancelled it my ship stopped in less than two seconds so now comes the question of is it balanced is it a actually an exploit uh, now, I have an idea of how we can make things more balanced, okay? Uh, now, obviously, anyone, any player who plays the game as a trader and makes a lot of money and carries very expensive cargo all over uh, the galaxy, they're not going to want to be intercepted by pirates, obviously. They're not going to want to get killed. They're not going to want to lose their cargo. So obviously traders definitely hate pirates. And if this allows them to go from one place to another without being intercepted, then, you know, they'd be stupid not to use it. So this means that a player who wants to play a pirate and who wants to hunt down cargo ships they pretty much have nothing to do it and they're probably gonna get bored and they're not gonna play the game because they're gonna say that this game hates pirates now I'm not a big fan of pirates it's not a type of gameplay that I enjoy but I will say that I acknowledge the need for them they are a necessary evil space simulators 
need pirates, okay? Because if this was real life, there would be pirates. Uh, pirates have existed in the past. Uh, the only difference is that they lived on the ocean, but still, they were on a ship, you know, and they were uh, attacking ships that were carrying expensive things. So, um, they are needed in this game. I'm not gonna lie. I do acknowledge the need for them. And because they are needed, the game needs to offer them options. And if the game offers cargo ships or cargo pilots an option to avoid interception, then they need to balance things out by offering something to the pirates to counter it. Now, I think that, you know, when <laughs> the way that I think interceptions work uh, right now, when an NPC pirate intercepts your ship, I think that it's probably some kind of ability that they have. Either it's a consumable ability or a permanent module, it doesn't really matter. I think that this module allows them to brute force or hack into your warp drive and turn it off. Automatically, when your warp drive turns off, I'm thinking logically your ship is programmed to uh turn on your dampeners and your dampeners obviously it's the, it's the um, it's the thrusters that are designed to stop your ship from moving or help you turn and stuff like that so whenever warp drive gets deactivated dampeners automatically turn on and stop your ship so I'm thinking that's what the pirates do. They brute force your warp drive and they remotely turn it off. Or maybe it's just a pulse of energy that they send towards your ship which scrambles your warp drive, makes it overload and causes it to shut down. I don't know, okay? But it requires your warp drive to be turned on. Uh, now, obviously, if your engines are turned off and you decided to manually turn off your dampeners, make sure that they don't activate unless you tell them to, then no matter what the pirate does, uh, whether he's trying to scramble your warp drive or anything like that, it won't do anything because it, your warp drive is not even powered. Your engines are not even powered. Your dampeners are not powered. There's no power into them, so there's nothing to scramble and there's nothing to hack. It's like, it, it's, how can you hack a computer that's not even plugged in, you know? So, um, I'm thinking devs should give pirates another type of ability that would allow them to uh, cause a moving object to slow down. Now, ships are made out of metal, right? And uh, metal is attracted to any kind of magnet or any kind of electromagnetism thing, right? So, I'm thinking there could be an ability uh, or we could, you know, add a new ability into the game that would create some kind of electromagnetic force field in, in a certain area for a certain amount of time and any ship that passes through it or near it uh, is is forced to slow down because it's being held on to by a very powerful magnetic force field and uh, maybe you know obviously it was it would only cause it to slow down gradually and once it stops then maybe if that force field is strong enough it could even uh, pull the ship back towards it for a uh, limited amount of time. Obviously, this would be overpowered if it would just last forever. So it would have to have like some kind of a uh, limited power source. Uh, maybe you you place it there. It lasts for a minute, and uh, once a ship passes through it, and then the magnets start doing their thing. Uh, it uses more energy and then, uh, you know, the, uh, the force field will be deactivated after 10 seconds or something like that. Uh, so, 
the cargo ship will not be completely helpless you know after that 10 seconds it can break free it can start trying to defend itself it can start trying to escape run away do whatever it needs to to try and survive but it will also give the pirates a chance to keep hunting uh, uh, ships that are you know moving fast uh, I think that would be the way to balance things out and allow us to keep that feature that that lets us cut our engines at warp speed. Because if this is an exploit right now, you know, cutting my engines right now as well as my warp drive, is if this is an exploit, then any kind of engine kill is an exploit because this is no different. The only difference is the speed at which I'm moving. It's the only difference. Okay, give give a ship that is not being propelled in space by anything. Just give it a push, okay? It's going to start moving. And it won't stop moving until it hits something. Until something physically stops it. And throw a rock into space it's gonna be the same thing it's not gonna stop it's just gonna keep going in a straight line until until you know it's it's being pulled by some gravity or something physically stops it so I don't see why this right now this is an exploit I think it's actually pretty realistic and I think it should stay in the game now even if this was removed, um, this would not remove the ability for uh, traders to keep doing this. The only difference is traders could keep doing it. Uh, hang on. Okay. So I'm going to find a signal somewhere. Okay, so that refinery unit is going to do it. So let's go to zero. So I have two points in engine right now. Okay, right here in my code thing here, I have two points in engine. I have two heavy drive coils on that ship because that's the amount of uh Yeah, the engine slots here. I put two heavy drive coils which boost my top speed. And it's pretty much the only kind of module that can boost my top speed. So there's this that can boost my top speed. There's the heavy drive coils. Then there's the uh, so right now 100% power usage. I'm at 84 meters a second now. If I press space bar and hold it for a while, I'm gonna reach 161 meters a second. Now if I had the ability called plasma ignition I could turn on that ability at the same time that I'm pressing spacebar and uh, I think plasma ignition actually boosts my speed by a hundred by a hundred percent for 10 seconds so if I'm timing things right I could press spacebar use plasma ignition and as soon as I reach my maximum potential top speed, I cut off my engines. And I, right now, if I had plasma ignition, I suspect I would be going somewhere close to 260, 270, maybe 280. I remember uh, back in the day with my Fury, I did have plasma ignition as a, um, it was a permanent module or a chip I could use the ability as much as I wanted to it just costed me a little bit of energy and that's it and uh, I remember reaching speeds of over 300 meters a second when everything was set for speed and I'm talking about my code here I'm talking about heavy drive coils I'm talking about the space bar boost and I'm talking about plasma ignition all of these things added together I could reach speeds of over 300 meters a second, probably something like 320, and uh, and then I would just cut off my engine and I would keep going at that speed forever. Now I don't know if you guys noticed, but this refinery unit right there, it's at 698 kilometers from me, which is pretty damn far, but I am getting closer. You don't need to be warping 
to reach a destination in this game. Warp only gets you there faster. That's all it does, okay? It, there's no loading screen while you're warping. It's not an animation or anything like that. It's just getting you places faster. Uh, so you don't have to use it. Now, imagine a trader who has a cargo full of very expensive things, okay? Imagine that his cargo is worth 30 or 40 million credits. And that guy is determined to not let anyone stop him. He He's going to do everything in his power to get to his destination without dying. Then all he has to do is do that combination I just showed you. The engine points, the spacebar boost, heavy drive coils in his engine module slots, and plasma ignition. Put all of these things together, then cut off cut off his engines and simply allow his ship to drift all the way to his destination he's gonna get there much much slower but he can't be intercepted so even if you remove the ability to cut off your engine while warping it's not gonna remove the ability to cut off your engines uh, with everything else it's just gonna remove it from while you're warping and uh, it, it's not going to change the fact that people are still going to be able to use engine kill to get places without being intercepted unless you give NPCs and players the ability to stop a ship that is that is running cold I guess we could call it like that when everything's turned off the ship's running cold um, so I think it should stay in the game. I know it's been reported as being an exploit, and like I said, I can understand why. Okay, I understand why, but that doesn't mean I agree with it. And I think it should stay in the game, and like I said, even if you remove it, if you really want to remove the ability to do that, then you need to remove engine kill altogether and removing engine kill would not be very realistic but in space engineers it can be done um, I'm fairly certain it can be done in Elite Dangerous as well and uh, if if they don't let people do it in Star Citizen then I don't know what the hell they're doing because engine kill I mean you, you can't have a space sim like this and not give the player the ability to, tur to turn off uh, their engine so like I said uh, at the beginning this is your ship you're the pilot you should be able to do whatever you want uh, as the pilot um, I mean if you're driving your car on the highway and uh, you simply decide to turn off everything while you know going at a hundred 20 kilometers an hour on the highway then it's your choice it would be a heck of a stupid choice but it's still your choice <laughs> so <laughs> I mean right now in a, in a in a spaceship is different you know there's no real traffic there is traffic but there's no bumper to bumper traffic and uh, like right now I've been flying for what the whole entirety of this video and I haven't come across anything that I could have crashed into uh, so but that doesn't mean that you know this feature would not involve any risks obviously uh, if you you think you're safe you uh, you start drifting like that and then you go make yourself a coffee or go watch a TV show or something like that and uh, turns out that a mission popped up here your ship didn't stop because it, it, everything's turned off and then that asteroid field just appears in front of you like <laughs> that's that perfect timing man seriously you I love you if I had something to give you if I could pay you I would pay you right now because you're just proving my point right now man I love this guy so yeah let's just shut him up and turn off the UI right now so as you can see an asteroid just appeared in front of me so if I was AFK right now 
then my ship probably would end up crashing into this at 2,000 meters a second, and I would die, and obviously lose all of my cargo. So, like I said, there are downsides to this thing, and there are risks involved. Another risk, uh, let's say for example, you initiate warp drive, you cut off your engine, but you don't turn off your warp drive because you want to keep the ability to steer. You just don't want pirates to be able to intercept you. So I'm gonna, so I, I'm warping, cutting off my engines, I'm still able to steer my ship, but now if pirates intercept me, my ship will not stop, okay, because they can't, because my dampeners cannot be turned on, and uh, this as has actually happened to me, and when I got intercepted, four ships appeared in front of me, my ship didn't stop, my ship crashed right into that ship that was right in front of me and I, I died. My ship exploded and I died and I lost the cargo that I had. So that is another risk that this feature involves. So someone who decides to use that feature needs to stay here and um, you know he needs to be careful and uh, be wise about how he uses it because like like I've just said many times there are risks involved which I think balances things out even more which makes it not so much of an exploit uh, because it can actually play against you so uh, now I think this video is already long enough and I've promised <laughs> promised snow globe and uh, I've already told the developers that I would try and make keep the videos a bit shorter so uh, I'm gonna end the video here and I'm begging all of you guys who are watching this to please comment share your thoughts on the matter um, you know if you don't agree with me say it if you do agree with me say it if you have other ideas or if you have different opinions please share them uh, the devs need that kind of feedback so if everybody is against that feature the devs won't see uh, a reason to keep it if everybody wants to keep it then the devs are probably not gonna piss us you know just piss off all of their player base by removing it if everybody wants to keep it so um, yeah I've said enough this video is long enough so I'm just gonna say thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye